K&K Premium Jagd is one of Europe's leading hunting agencies and your perfect partner to deliver hunting adventures across the globe. Passionate about hunting and sustainability, we offer only the finest hunting destinations that promote ethical and sustainable hunting. Working with only the very best hunting estates and wild game reserves that have been rigorously tested by our own team, we ensure that our game is properly managed to provide healthy herds for generations to come. The beautiful Blumberg estate in eastern Germany is home to an impressive population of European game. Blumberg lays within easy reach of Berlin at its international airport and is easily reached by road. Just an hour's drive from the German capital and its magnificent sights, Blumberg offers the tranquility of the countryside but within easy reach of the bustling city. Blumberg is ideal for the hunter wishing to experience the history and culture of the German capital as well as traditional hunting. However, it can also be enjoyed by a family looking to combine a hunting adventure with a city break. Before dawn is broken, Sebastian is making his way to a high seat. There's very little light, but Sebastian has already spotted a roe deer. There's a large field beside a wood, and the bucks have made their way out to feed in the peace of the early morning. Sebastian glasses the open field and spots a small roe deer on the path ahead. In the field, there's a roebuck feeding. Sebastian continues on the way to his high seat, hoping there's just as much activity there. He moves slowly and carefully towards the seat. In the field behind him, another buck is feeding, a few hundred yards away. Sebastian edges closer to his seat and makes his way up the ladder. All is quiet in front of the seat at the moment. The birds chirp their morning song. Sebastian can see down a ride to his left and way out into the field on his right. If there's anything moving across here, he should have a clear shot. To Sebastian's left, a buck has moved across a ride and into the tall grass on the other side. By the time Sebastian sees it, it's too late. Moments later, a small buck makes his way out into the field and stands in the long grass. Sebastian raises his rifle and gets the buck in his sights. Sebastian takes time to observe the buck. This buck is relaxed and Sebastian doesn't need to make a snap decision. After some consideration, he decides the buck is too young and has too much potential and decides to let him continue on his way. It was a very young one, but it's a robot for the, for the future. We open the field and uh, it's not necessary to shoot, to shoot this one. With the sun high in the sky and the day well and truly broken, Sebastian calls it a day. He heads down from the seat and back towards the vehicle. Unfortunately, he hasn't seen his buck this morning. However, there is a nice buck feeding in the middle of the field ahead of him. Here we can see a roebuck, but it's a yearling and it's a six-pointer. It's a roebuck for the, for the future. On the large open field, a group of cranes and a herd of mouflon feed in the warm morning sun. There's plenty of life and animal movement across the estate. 
but for Sebastian, it's all about taking the right buck. Barbara's day begins with a walk through the dark forest and a climb into a high seat. As the sun peers over the horizon, Barbara readies her rifle and finds her eye by checking the ranges of the trees. Within minutes, she has a visitor. A rodo moves gently across the clearing. It's nervously checking the area for movement and checking the scent in the air with its nose. Barbara's outfox outfit keeps her scent hidden. But now her rodo has company. A group of mouflon and another rodo make their way into the clearing. All of them are none the wiser that just a few yards away Barbara is quietly watching. As the bright morning sun begins to flood light into the forest, there's game moving all around Barbara. However, there isn't a roebuck in sight. Barbara unloads her rifle and makes her way out of the high seat. This is hunting, and that's just how it works sometimes. However, for Barbara, it's also a great pleasure to sit and watch the nature. Across the estate, Ian Harford climbs into a high seat deep in the forest. There's a clearing just ahead which appears to be a regular haunt for feeding game. However, this evening there's a few different visitors. A badger makes his way into the clearing. He lifts his nose in the air, checking there's not an alien scent in the area. Soon after, a fox trots down the dirt path and leaves his mark. He moves within a few feet of Ian's high seat and hasn't picked up his scent. Ian's outfox clothing keeps his scent hidden. However, the fox gets close enough to be able to see that something isn't right. And soon heads off. Back at the main house, there's been plenty of success in the hunting party, and there's a beautiful buck hanging up, ready to be processed. With the sun high in the sky and the day in full flow, the hunting party heads back to the hotel. All is quiet in the foyer as the party sit and enjoy a beautiful continental breakfast. Stories are swapped, and the game is discussed. Despite the rest of the world beginning their working day, it's time for a mid-morning snooze for the hunters. Roebuck hunting is early morning and late afternoon stuff. With the long days of spring and summer months, there's little time between going to bed and getting up in the morning. So a mid-morning snooze after the hunt is always in order. This afternoon the hunt begins again and everybody wants to be fully charged and ready for action. K&K Premium Yagd is your perfect partner for hunting trips around the world. Hunting, passion, sustainability. To find out more or to book your Bloomberg hunting adventure of a lifetime, visit the website at premium-yagdrising.de.